Holy shit, guys. Finally, I could talk. Spoiler talk of American Horror Story Roanoke Chapter 7. Now, I'm going to give a shout out to my boy James, Super Nerd 81, and Jazz. I know you guys are fans of American Horror Story. Did you watch this episode? I can't wait for you uh, to talk to this episode about to you guys. All right. Where do I start? <laughs> you thought last week's was crazy? This week is absolutely insane. Boy, did it do a great job in really starting off a little bit slow. Really just kind of where are we going with this episode. And then really just hitting it in the second and third act of the episode. This was absolutely bananas. Now I'm going to talk about the major points in the episode. Because I do, if you want my technical review, go ahead and check out my non-spoiler review. But... I'm going to bounce around here because I feel like this episode is like a conversation between you and me. So I'm assuming you saw the episode. Holy shit. All right. Shelby fucking killing Matt. Negan style. Holy shit, man. I did not see that coming. I did not. I thought Matt was going to at least be one of the last survivors of the season. But boy, did she get pissed when Matt was fucking the witch again, and Matt, I thought he was in his, he, he could have still been in that state where like he's being controlled, but he looked normal when he told Shelby, this is why I came back. I fucking love her. Like, whoa, whoa. Shelby lost her shit, grabs a crowbar, and beats Matt over the fucking head and keeps wailing on him and wailing on him. I gotta say, man, this week's episode of American Horror Story really kept up with the Walking Dead season premiere. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because at one point in this episode, you have people getting their heads bashed in, people getting cut, people getting shot, people eating other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really felt like this episode was a lot when it came to the direction and the camera angle it was a lot of paranormal activity a lot of using phone as cameras and them explain it like record I, I it's on my terms i'm gonna record that's what lee said and a lot of the hills i hills have eyes are devil's rejects when yeah put that seasoning on there and Lee's like, what the fuck are you doing? That's what Lee said. Like, oh my god, man. Lee, one of my favorite characters of the season. Because, I, I mean, she shot the fucking butcher. She shot Kathy Bates. She shot Kathy Bates. And Kathy Bates, I thought she was dead, but I guess not. She just got shot in the shoulder. But <clears throat> Lee actually, like, kind of, she, she brought a fucking gun to play. She's like, I'm not playing around. I know what this house brings. But yet, she still got captured. The reason why she got captured, of course, is because <clears throat> Shelby got fucking cut up by Kathy Bates' character. After Cuba Goody Jr. Dominic rustles with her and kind of beats her and then goes to Shelby's side, she disappears. So the girl said, this is fucking crazy. Shelby's hurt. We need to find Sid. And boy, was that a crazy opening, right? I should, why am I saying it started off slow? Because it started off with a fucking death. <coughs> so I'm going to say this shit started off with a bang, all right? This shit was from point A to point B, some crazy shit. Maybe it slowed down a little bit towards the middle. But when Sid died, holy sh his assistant dies first, and then fucking Kathy Bates kills Sid. Crazy, man. Crazy, and people were wondering, like, okay, doesn't Sid see all the shit that's going on? No, because that motherfucker died dead he's gone kathy bates is a crazy 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 woman what's crazy though is that sid didn't have a laptop he didn't have a phone so what the fuck and i really their cell phones can't work out there in a woman like really but all in all whatever i get nitpicking <coughs> so sid dies right angela bassett lee and Sarah Polson go out to go find Sid's trailer. They find out he's dead. That's when Kathy Bates attacks. Lee shoots her. Then they keep wandering and they see torches, right? It's, it's the blood moon, the full blood moon. And fucking it, all hell is going to break loose. They see torches. They run away from the torches. Sarah Polson is super scared. She's like, Rory, my lovely Lori, I love you so much. Yeah, drips of blood going down her face. And Rory's just tied up on a tree all fucked up 
craziness. <laughs> and then the hillbillies get some. The hillbillies capture Lee, Sarah Paulson, and Angela Bassett. Now, Sarah Paulson and Angela Bassett are once tied up. Lee is unfortunately the one that gets eaten. Now, we see her leg get eaten. I don't know if Lee, Lee might still be alive. But Lee's leg, they eat her leg, man. They stab her right in the leg. And they feed it to Angela Bassett and Sarah Paulson. Damn. Crazy shit, man. It really remind That set of tone... That whole bit really reminded me of a Rob Zombie film. It just it, but done with a little bit more class. Cause Rob Zombie's films are really in your fucking face, and he doesn't give a shit if you watched any of his films: Devil's Rejects, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, and of course the uh, remakes of Halloween. <clears throat> craziness, crazy, crazy, craziness. And then you have Dominique uh, comforting Shelby after Shelby kills Matt. Uh, what happened to the witch though? The witch, the witch just kind of disappeared. And fucking, <clears throat> so, Dominique's covering Shelby, saying, you need to turn your ass in. I thought Shelby was going to kill him as well, but that wasn't the case. She's distraught. Uh, give it to Lily Rabe. She really did a great performance this episode. Uh, so did Cuba Goody Jr. They look outside. You see fucking Kathy Bates is saying her whole lines and whole bit with the torch. And they see more torches coming from behind her. And she meets her idol, the real Butcher, and what does that butcher do? You know damn well what that butcher's gonna do. She's gonna butch! So she fucking butched Kathy Bates right in the fucking head, and that was the end of the episode. Crazy, crazy, crazy episode. Really well done with, once again, with the cinematography. The direction was really well done, even if they had, you, if we were, they were using more of the house kind of cameras and the phone cameras, but I think it all went pretty well. It was all executed pretty well done. <clears throat> the performance, Kathy Bates' performance in this season, like in my last review, I say probably my favorite performance she's given in all this season. She did a fantastic job. Angela Bassett did a great job as well. I feel like her character is not really too much in there. Uh, same with, uh, same was with QB Goody Jr., but he's doing a great, he did a great job this episode. Matt, man, I did not, I did not see Matt dying this episode. That was fucking... He's dead. He's dead. There is no doubt about it. That motherfucker is dead. He's gone. Crazy, crazy episode. Great, great episode, though. Fantastic gore. Uh, a lot of horrific things in this episode. They don't call it American Horror Story for nothing. And I think they really brought back that horror mentality in this episode especially horror doesn't have to be spooky creepy gonna scare you horror could be what fucking walking dead just did and that was negan bashing the shit out of somebody's head and this was they had that in there they had that in there which is crazy great episode american horror story roanoke is probably becoming one of my favorite ones of all time uh it's almost there with asylum we'll see how the ending is i always say that a series could be good it, it could it could be not that great in the beginning be good in the middle has to have a great strong ending as long as the ending is great it might it's competing with asylum because i'm really enjoying this season a lot which is kind of crazy because I, I at first i was kind of mixed on it in the first episode <coughs> um i did say me and my brother were discussing before this episode who do we think we will live. I know he said the butcher, and I my money was on Lily Rebe Shelby. Uh, so far, I'm still in it. <laughs> I got you. I'm still in it. So I'm I'm gonna say Shelby is gonna be the one that lives at the end because there is one survivor. It might be Angela Bassett or Sarah Paulson. It, it honestly it could be Sarah Paulson, or it could even be Cudi Gunner Jr. But if I'm gonna put my money on it, I'm gonna say Shelby is the one that lives at the end. And she's going to have to live with the fact that she killed Matt. <clears throat> the love of her life. But we'll see how that goes. And great tension between QB Goody Jr. and Shelby. I didn't really like the bit where QB Goody Jr. is like, oh, they need a villain and a bad guy. And I got a camera here. I think that whole bit was just to introduce the camera that he has on his neck. Overall, yeah, I, I could live without that particular part. But overall, great fucking episode. Love the episode. If you haven't seen it already, go watch it. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, still a little bit sick, getting a little bit better, so that's good. And then Manic and Dan's son, be sure to check out next week's review. Uh, I might even put it on Monday when I come back. 
American Horror Story giveaway for you guys. I know it's a little bit late, but I want to give you guys a chance to win some good American Horror Story stuff because you guys are amazing. You guys are awesome who stick around, who watch this, and I just love American Horror Story like all you guys do. So <coughs> be sure to check out next week for that giveaway and be sure to enter, and I would love to send you guys some awesome stuff. And same with uh, I want to do Walking Dead as well. So thank you guys. I'm Dan Magnuson. Ciao. Ha, ha, ha.